Carrie and Tommy about to go off. Get comfy and enjoy this Carrie and Tommy podcast. And while you're at it, why not grab a Capri Chop Top? Creamy vanilla, chocolate chips, and a smooth Capri chocolatey swirl. Find them in the supermarket ice cream freezer. Guaranteed not to last. Thank you for being a friend, friend, friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you threw a party, you invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. This is Carrie and Tommy. Yes, welcome to it for your Monday afternoon. How are we, guys? I'm pretty good, Bickers. How are you? I'm very good. Is our friend Jesse over there yes. dressed like a little boy? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that T-shirt looks like a little boy's T-shirt with a like big you, you neckline. Look, no, it looks like you're wearing a Spencer. And a singlet <laughs> underneath. That's what I thought. A singlet. That's singlet. what I dress my kids in under their uniform to keep them warm. It looks like you've got a singlet on so you don't catch a chill. You do look. Oh, my God. Have you got a... Have you been working out? Have you got fake abs on? <laughs> Is that what you've got on? Is what? that is this a whole setup? <laughs> where do you reckon? It, where do you reckon it came from? It's, it just looks like fat too. <laughs> and is that oh, why no. you're wearing a little boy oh, no. t-shirt? Oh, no. we, we bought this on Amazon a few weeks ago. Wait, we this has been in weeks in the making. Pull up your top so you can see your fake abs. <laughs> Oh my God, they're the worst <laughs> things ever. If for people that are listening, it's just like he's wrapped um, three padded bras around his stomach and he's got his little B cup sticking out. B? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Uh, what are you doing? We just thought you'd think he was you were asking fit. me. You, you'd say to him, hey, you're looking great, mate. It doesn't look good. <laughs> I know, but we thought it you know, would look better. Carrie, <laughs> Carrie came to me and she was like, listen, you've stacked it on a little bit recently. <laughs> And for the show's image, <laughs> is this, you need to. How, is this weeks ago as yeah, well? Yeah. How many weeks now? How many producers Maybe involved? Four. Jay, <laughs> Jay, were you involved? Yeah. Sammy, were you involved? Sash, were you involved? I was involved? the first no, one to wear it, you? test it out. You, you had to test we it. We couldn't work oh, out which to make, T-shirt to use because they were see-through, so you could see the Spencer's here. We tried <laughs> four different shirts. <laughs> Did you actually? Four. Yeah. So uh, seven people, mm-hmm. yeah. three weeks, yeah. four different shirts. And yeah. I think we can all agree. Worth, worth it. it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Carrie and Tommy. The Monday Arvo. It's yeah, Carrie Tommy's Bigmore and Tommy Little. fake ab t-shirt that we bought, Jesse. Um, that you it's hard not to play with, isn't you it? You haven't put a yeah. top over it, so now you're just sitting in the weirdest get-up. Does it, it feel nice to touch yourself? No. No. no what no. do they feel like? It honestly feels like I've got little hey, bras. You do look like you're wearing padded, a little yeah. bra. Just a little pad of bras. <laughs> It's got lats and it's got um, shoulder um, muscles as well. <laughs> is this meant for protection or I is it actually? It's like a bulletproof vest. Imagine going out on a first date and then you finally get them back to your house and go, look, I've just got one thing. I haven't been quite honest. <laughs> I've been wearing a bodysuit all night. <laughs> to be fair, for a lot of women, we, we joke about that all the time. You get back to the bedroom and the scaffolding comes down, the push-up bra comes <laughs> off and all the things. You're like, anyway, this is what's actually going on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you What did you want to talk about? Is it me, Carrie? It is you. Sorry, talk I, got about, dist- uh, I got distracted you're because looking of my at muscles. <laughs> this is your segment now. So yeah. I want to know what did you think it was going to cost mm-hmm. versus what did it end up costing? Because I've got a mate who has um, money-making brilliant ideas all the time, mm-hmm. and he told me he was going to um, rent out a tent. Like what do you a, mean rent out so a tent? he'd heard that glamping was all the rage. And it's so, been the rage for ages. So, well, he, I didn't say he was the first to it, <laughs> <laughs> but he said he's going to do a tent with a like nice bathroom next to it. And I said, "Oh yeah." And I said, "How much is it going to cost?" And he said, "I reckon all up." Where's he getting the stuff from? China. Uh, I've got no idea. Right. But he said he said all up about forty grand, 
and wow. and it'll be a sick deluxe. And what? Tent. And then, you, then he rents it out, or and something. then he and then he'll chuck it on Airbnb. But it's not a um, glamping tent. No, kind it, of. It absolutely is a is glamping tent. It's just a copy of a glamping tent. A hundred percent. Forty grand for a glamping tent. Yeah, for a glamping tent, but he was going to put like he reckon four boards in it, and oh. then like a nice freestanding bathroom next to it. Yeah, forty grand. Wow. He reckons. Yep. Amazing. And then what would you rent that out a night? Like he do a grand a night or something. A grand a night for know. a tent. It was a glamping tent. A glamping sometimes. I reckon like if you went to those glamping for, places, yeah. it would be like that. Yeah. A grand a night. Yeah. Is that really what they're paying? <laughs> Is that? For, well, I don't think. I think he was shooting more at about four hundred bucks, okay, sure, five hundred sure. bucks. Um, but I said forty grand, and I thought that was an amazing return on investment. Really anyway, hard to take it seriously when I'm with my team. muscles on. <laughs> he um. Anyway, turns out mm. the um. Because he put it out the back of his, he lived in the country. He didn't put it out the back of his house. Turns out oh, so he's he, finished it. He's finished it. Yeah. Um, it's been a long project, and I know it was going a bit over budget, as building often does. Um, would you like to know what it finally came in at for him? For the glamping tent, mm. I reckon. For a tent. For was the it... tent, what blew out? Which bits? Um, the ground. The ground. There was a lot of. There was. Or like it wasn't level. There was a lot of retaining needed. walls that needed to be put oh, in. Oh, no. Like mm. 100 or something. 80. Double. Double. It often is double, double in a bit. More so than double. More than double. More than double. So more than 80. 120. More than, 80. More than 120. Whoa. <sighs> um, how many? Has it got one bed in it or two or what's it got in it? Um, no, it's a tent. So there's nothing in it. You but there's a bed. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, a bed. Yeah. But it's not got it's not rooms. It's not bedrooms. No. no okay. It's not, not 200. For a glamping tent. Four hundred and fifty thousand. No, because <laughs> eleven God, more than eleven times. That's, he a, said, that's a building a house. He yeah. said, he that's said, a tent. He What's said, he doing? Well, he said he got quoted fifty thousand dollars for the retaining walls, and so he's like, okay. Oh so, my God. so now the tent has doubled in price, but then the retaining walls came in at like four times that. Oh my and God. And then there was problem with the plumbing, which meant they had to go back and redo the Don't retaining pull rooms. out at some point? No, because by the time. Before it gets to 450, you because, just yeah. take the tent pegs out and put the tent down. Because they're going to have to charge $4,000 a night. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll tell him you can get 1000 bucks a night, if you guys reckon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Thirteen ten sixty. I think it's because by the time he got what? in. That makes no sense. Because by the time he, so he agreed $50,000 for his retaining walls, that's still $90,000 and I get a sick tent. Awesome. I'll be able to make that money back in no time. And then the retaining walls are going a bit over. Okay. You're going a bit over. And then once you've, I guess, put in $150,000 worth of retaining walls, I guess you want to finish No, you just then build a house. It's not big enough, Gary. Well, just like a granny flat. A tent. <laughs> a tent. 13, 10, 60. What did you think it was going to cost? And oh, what budget blowout. End up yes. costing. Give us a call. Gary and Tommy. The Monday Arvo, it's Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little coming up very soon. We have a family trip to Bluey's World in Brisbane to give away. So fun. But I want to know on 131060 right now, um, what did you think it was going to cost versus what did it cost? My yeah. mate had a get rich quick Your scheme. He's an idiot. And he told me he was going to buy a tent to make, to open for glamping and it was going to cost $40,000 or up. And I think it's cost him over four hundred thousand dollars. Honestly, in the you end. could have built a house. Mm. It's a glamping tent; doesn't even have walls. No, it's canvas. You are correct. Yes, stuck. Like my but brain if he puts can't in walls even... now to go up. Oh, He's too expensive. Uh, he'd be enough. overdoing it then. Absolutely. <laughs> G'day, Belinda. Hi guys, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. What was it? Was it was it a uh, building? Yeah, it's a house renovation. We had built a house previously, like in a year before. We had a rough idea what we thought it would cost to reno an, another one. Yeah. Um, we had $150,000 set, $150, set aside for, you know, basic renovations. Yeah. We are about $340,000 <gasps> in, and we've only done the interior. We haven't touched the exterior. We haven't done anything else. But hold on. Is that your interior. miscalculations, or are you being taken for a ride? What's happened? A little bit of both. Um, just the increase of... You know, everything costing more. Um, yeah. The tapway, for example, last time was seven thousand. This time was fifteen thousand. It's just increased. Um, but we also had, we found once we started opening walls and redoing all new um, electrical mm. and plumbing that there was um, structural issues. We restumped it. We put in concrete footings. We've had bird nests in the whole top stair, a whole top story of the house. Um, it was just disgusting. So we had to just 
gut everything and start again. I would love to know if a builder would be willing to call up and tell me, do they just make up things? I feel oh, no, like no. sometimes they go, yeah, we just got a something to the something under the something and we didn't, weren't expecting it, so mm. there's another 20. I wouldn't know and I'm if like, they've I ever... wouldn't know with your, what words any of those meant, so I guess I have to pay it. I just want to know why it never comes in under. Ever. True. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like course. sometimes if they're like, oh, you know, sometimes we get it over a bit. Sometimes Maybe they're all bit. just really optimistic. They're like, yeah, I reckon we can get this done for that. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Belinda. What G'day, Cassandra. Hello. Uh, what What's the thing, Cassandra? Is it building as well? No, it's our car. So we um, got a quote to get the engine rebuilt. Yeah. And it was like, you know, between five and $6,000 and it ended up costing us $10,000. And as Carrie was just saying, they just say, oh, but then there was this that went wrong and we had to change this. We didn't think we'd have to do that. And, you know, and it was like, no, if you quote somebody a price... But you know what happens that when the carburetor be... goes, Cassandra, you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. That's yep. a silly thing, isn't it? Cass we has really match, matched your big car energy there. No, what I mean is when they tell you something's wrong with the bits of it, you yes. don't know what those bits are. So then again, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Thank you, Cass. Megan, are you there? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. How's your weekend? <laughs> Uh, it was not long enough. No, never is, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you calling about, Megan? Hey, Megan what, what was the thing? <laughs> Moving on. I did I did a reno. Um, I've done a fair bit of reno um, over the years. Um, I did one a couple of years ago that um, was about 100000 worth of renovations. The builder put on a $30,000 project management fee. Whoa. And I said to him, no, I'm... I've got all the quotes, so I'm ready to go. Um, I can deal with all of that aspect and trades and whatnot. So I coordinated it all, saved myself that amount of money. You've just got to get like firm figures and scope it properly. How much do so you think is So that's the advice it? for your mate. I was going to say. Next time. Megan, how, how much do you think you should spend on a tent? What's a good amount? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's a tent and then there's tents, isn't there? Um, but I reckon 40 grand. <laughs> Forty grand should be enough for Surely a at BCF you well can get one a lot cheaper than that. That's true. Yes. That's true. Carrie and Tommy. Be Monday Arvo, it's Carrie, Bickmore and Tommy. Little and movie nights at home have just gotten so much better. New Cadbury Choc Tops, so good, they're guaranteed not to last. You can find them in the supermarket ice cream freezer. I have a hole, a new hole in my body. Do you? And I'm gonna tell you where it is now. <laughs> what a tease. What a tease. <laughs> Carrie and Tommy. Carrie and Tommy. <laughs> Well, I tease that I've got a new hole. Um, yes. 131060, where is it? Yes. What we're doing now, because I was going to tell you the story, and you said, why don't you let people guess where your new hole is? Because I, I can't see it. Mm. You, ca- uh, you can. Oh. I can't. Oh. You can. <laughs> I you can not. too, Eli. I can't. You can too, Jesse. Oh. The... Uh, can I? Uh huh. You can too, Sarge. Thirteen ten sixty. If I is it is it? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. Does it serve a? It does it give you a. It purpose. doesn't serve a purpose. Okay. No. Um. Has it given you a better sense? It of something? hurt when I got the hole. Oh. Most most. Okay, but does it hurt right now? No. Not most holes don't hurt. When you first get them, yes, they do. Well, you have you ever had a new hole that doesn't nose, hurt? Your nose doesn't hurt. What do you mean? You didn't get it in a <laughs> day, like you were born with it. But as soon as you get a new hole, like does, if, like like if you get a nail through your hand, you all that'd hurt. That hurts. Mm. But hold on, does your new hole hurt now? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Because again, though, it's a fresh hole. Of course, it's going to hurt. Yeah, but I don't know how quickly it starts to feel better. Yeah, it hurt a lot at the beginning, but now it's and almost it's fine. Getting yeah, it, uh, it. I think it got infected. A cavity. Oh, oh a no, cavity it's not a cavity. Get Naomi, it. where's my new hole? <laughs> Are your ears? No, oh, I'm thinking about getting a third, Naomi, but no, I haven't. I, it's not. A third ear? No, a third oh. hole. Oh. I've got two piercings on each side. I'm thinking about getting a third, but no, I haven't. You so should. Should mm. I? I was hey, actually yeah. thinking about doing one like old school up the top. Oh. Or even yeah. a nose ring. That'd be cool. Yeah. Did you know, <laughs> Naomi, did you know that Carrie actually has 47 body piercings that she keeps very secret? 
Really? Yes. And no, she had no, metal no. chains <laughs> linking them all up. <laughs> I do that. I'm so gullible. <laughs> okay, no, it's oh, not a new it's, piercing. It's not. It's not a belly button piercing. That's no. not what I was going to get. Marley. <laughs> Marley, where's my new hole? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in your ear, your third ear? No, no. no. Oh, but, but, Marley, but what about? Chat we just had. <laughs> what about? There are other piercings you could get on. It's your... not a piercing. Would other people have this hole too? I oh. reckon this hole is quite common, and this is what I want to talk to people about. I think it's quite common to have this hole, and I think there is a issue with the instrument that caused this hole. Would you like what's to his, know? What's his name? His name <laughs> is Grey. What? Oh. shades. Greater. Greater. Oh. Greater. 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 It's a greater. greater. I have a hole. Okay, so let me take oh. you back. Uh, Let me take you back 20 yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, God. 20 years. <laughs> I thought this was a new hole. Yeah, I thought it was a new hole yeah. too. 20 years ago, mm-hmm. I um, went to visit my dad and I don't know if that's not important in the story. <laughs> I had a friend with me. and <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> yeah, it is important. We decided to make a salad. <laughs> Did you toss it? <laughs> Anyway, I was making the salad and I grated off my thumb <laughs> <laughs> while grating carrot. A knuckle, right? a bit of your knuckle. Okay, I have a scar, a round yeah. scar. Can you see no. that scar there? Yeah. I have a round yeah. circular scar on my thumb on the bony bit mm-hmm. from that scar 20 years ago from the grater. I then went, we went to the chemist and I, they, they weren't sure if I should go to the hospital to get it stitched because it was so deep. It had gone into the cartilage and the bone, <sighs> right? No, no, it hadn't. It had. It, it had gone into the bone from a grater. It had gone. Carrie, how hard were you making that okay, salad? <laughs> no, my dad, it was a new grater he'd never used and it cut <laughs> to <laughs> my. It was. He has a kitchen he doesn't use. He hadn't used yeah, the grater. He <laughs> actually does. Yeah. It had cut to my bone. It was the white, fleshy oh. stuff. It was my bone. Carrie. I promise you, it had gone down that far. It had gone through so all you, the layers and it hit I, the bone. I believe you because I did the same thing to my thumb and the skin on your knuckle there is so thin. It is. That I reckon it, it wouldn't be hard. Anyway, it went to your bone. I don't it reckon it'd be that to hard my to bone. get to. A knife would go to your bone. A yeah. knife could easily go to your bone and a grater is it? No, but it's a sharp edge like that. Why? Anyway, so I've had a fear of grating ever since, and any chance I can not. What are you laughing at? You're so angry. Because it went to my bone, and it's my body, and you're telling me what happened to my body 20 years ago. Yeah, because you've, you've embellished the story. I haven't embellished over the, the years. story. I had to put little butterfly stitches on anyway. Oh, you stitch it yourself. <laughs> a little with the little butterfly tape. Oh. Anyway, 20 years on, I, I still. If I can get my kids to grate, <laughs> oh my god, I'll get them to grate <laughs> because I don't want knowing to get... that they could cut themselves to I their bone. I have a fear of grating. I hate it. Anyway, the other day I was making another salad, <laughs> first one in twenty years, <laughs> and I grated my thumb again in the exact same spot that I already have the hole, and I've so... now got a hole that didn't go to the bone this time. So you, so you <laughs> shallow a shallow hole. So that's two times not to the bone. I've got a hole now in my thumb. Exactly though. How weird. In the exact same spot the hole was 20 years ago. You promised us a new hole. <laughs> yeah, this is a reopening of an old hole. No, it's not. It's a fresh hole in the same <laughs> spot of the a, other hole. You just put a lick of paint on the old pub and <laughs> rebrand it. I think graters should be outlawed. What are your Especially replacement ones with? that cut down to the bone? I like reckon yours. grated grated carrot. Nobody needs in their life anyway. It's such a redundant thing to eat. You, and the only other thing you're grating, uh, like why don't you just drop it in the food processor? Just get parmesan pre grated. Well, I'm don't what to get my carrot. No, I'm not going to get a food processor out. Then I have to wash it all. Well, then just use a grater. No, because then I'm going to cut my thumb again. <laughs> or they need little protective things on it. They've got to do something. Oh, you could get a fake thumb like a magician. You know how they stuff stuff in? No, that you is a wear great a fake idea. You great. I could wear one of those things. I stuck my thing. And then, my, oh my and God, then when that's you're finished, perfect. you can pull your serviette out of it. <laughs> anyway, 13, 10, yes. 60. I want to know if I'm the only one with a hole in my thumb from a grater. Greater and, injuries. And have you cut your hand through to the bone and was there white fleshy bits? Because I absolutely oh, did. If you're up for lying on radio like no, Carrie just No, I did. I cut it to the bone. Why don't you believe me? I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 10, 60. Greater injuries. Call it. 
Carrie and Tommy. Yeah, that is where you're at for your Monday afternoon. Coming up after four o'clock, we have a family trip to Bluey's World to give away. But right now, I have a hole in my hand. I have cut my thumb grating in the exact same spot. I grated it 20 years ago. Yeah. Like it's where the scar is. And you don't believe me that I cut it to my bone 20 years ago. And I absolutely did. Gail, mm. is this a yeah. greater injury or a finger injury that you're calling about? I'm not ringing you about either, Carrie, oh. but I'm happy to tell you yes. that you can actually buy an attachment that you attach to the food to protect your hand oh. when grating. Oh, my God, I need oh. it in my life, Gail. I don't know. <laughs> I was just showing these guys how I grate because they can't understand why my thumb gets in the way. I must do it wrong. Yeah, you, it looks like a door, door handle. And yep. it's got a plastic thing around it and it's got little spiky oh. things in it that you stick the food on and you grate away. Oh, oh I can Gail. picture it, Gail. Yes. yes. There you go. Great. It'll save your fingers. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good on you, Gail. Uh, let's go to Brody. G'day, Brody. Tommy and Gary, how you going? Yeah, good legend. What was your injury? Yeah, so I was I was working in an abattoir a few years ago. Oh, no. And um oh. so I was holding the holding the knife and I'll put this uh Cut off a bit of fat, right? Yeah. Slip, slipped off the uh, carcass and uh, went over me uh, left root finger. Oh. And I fucking sliced oh. it. <laughs> Could have predicted that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. We had to dump then because Brody <laughs> cut off his finger. It was very yeah. surprising. I thought Brody was in the clear there. So. I, yeah, yeah, did not. <laughs> Ouch. I have more questions for Brody, but we will also, not be going back to him. I don't blame him for swearing. Oh, of course. It sounded The things I painful. said in the kitchen after I cut the hole in my thumb. True. And I assumed he cut his finger off, did he? Yeah, that's why I wanted to know, but I was just yeah. too scared to go back to him. Elias, how are you? Good, Carrie. How are you? Yeah, good. Now you can't swear because we no longer have a delay because we just had to dump no, our last caller. I, so I, I, I heard the dump live, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have you done? So I was um, I was looking after my son for the day. We were outside in the garage, and he was just in his bouncer and, and you know having a bottle. And I was cutting up some metal piping with a sawzall. Um, and he just yelled out for some reason. I thought something was wrong. I looked away for a second. The sawzall got caught on the on the metal, jumped up and and sliced my thumb. So right off to the side and cut the tip on the side of my my thumb off. So I grabbed it, obviously, to stop hold the on, blood. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your thumb or his thumb? No, no, my thumb. My son was nowhere near me. He was, like, away from me just, you know, because I was outside. I brought, I brought him outside with me. So it, the sawzall jumped up, cut my thumb, and sliced the side of my thumb off. And I grabbed it, obviously, because, you know, it was coming off. Yeah. And he started crying. So I just wrapped it in a paper towel and fed him, changed him with one arm. And then a couple hours later, went to go look at the thumb and it coagulated together and and it fixed itself. So, but now my thumb is a bit smaller on, on one thumb than the other. Whoa. So, I you, mean, you, dad you, of the year doing all that yeah, with one well thumb. Done, first of all, oh, you yeah. just have to walk. You just have to walk it off. My dad always said, just throw dirt on it and walk it off. So, Elias, <laughs> you cut off a bit of your thumb, and then yeah. it just stuck back on. <laughs> yeah, because I because I had it like it's like a natural coagulation. So, uh, as I as I held I... it there for a couple of hours and wrapped up. It just naturally started to heal itself. Why like you were together. mowing? You're I, a true I green reckon, thumb. I reckon. <laughs> She's so <laughs> proud. <laughs> Carrie and Tommy. Yeah, that is where you're at for your Monday afternoon. The very funny Mel Buttle is joining us soon. And it is, isn't it exciting, Bickers, that the, the king's in town? Mm, Charles and Camilla. Obviously, I'm joking. It's not exciting at all. But something that did tickle my fancy that the old... Yeah, your fancy's been tickled. It's been tickled. By Charles? By his fat little fingers. And I'll tell you exactly how he tickled (laughs) me next. Carrie and Tommy. (laughs) Carrie and Tommy. The Monday Arvo, it is Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. A family trip to Bluey's World in Brisbane is up for grabs very soon. So Um, fun. I wonder if the king will pop down to Bluey's World while he's in town, Carrie. Too many engagements. Oh, busy. Oh. Oh. busy. I wasn't expecting company here in this accent, but it's very nice. He's got nice. to have his cup of tea, doesn't oh, he? His cup of tea. That's, that's yeah. gone a bit chavvy there, Carrie. <laughs> Careful where else it sense. might go. It <laughs> might go to the <laughs> colonies too. I'll tell you what. It might get a bit it's questionable. One of my, there's two things that I'm disappointed in life. One, that I can't do accents, and the other, that I can't sing. See, the thing is, Carrie, you mm. can do accents. Yeah, it's just not appropriate. It in public <laughs> no, domain. I really can't. One I 
just believe in oneself. Mm. Yeah, I know. I try. I tried before. You, you do. You, you do. Tell me what happened <laughs> with the king. What did he do while oh, he was they, there? See, this was actually what kicked off his tour. So this was yesterday. They put on a lunch for him at Parliament House. At New South Wales Parliament House. Mm-hmm. And he got up and he gave a speech. Oh. And yeah. he said, hello, hello, Cox. Good to see you. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello, hello, chaps. Hello, hello governor. Asses. All right. How are you? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, the king here, but I'm in fun mode. <laughs> hello. Hey, go on, tip a few in. I reckon Come he's on. got a fun mode. I reckon he does too. Yeah. I reckon, <laughs> yes. I reckon he does. Anyway. So he got up and what did he talk so about? So this lunch was specifically mm-hmm. for him. To welcome him. Was to welcome with, him. Was it Cammy was there as well? It was first official <laughs> Cammy. I don't know if Cammy rocked up. And yeah. she might have just waited in the car for him, wow. which doesn't sound like it would be that pleasant a way to spend no. um, a, a whole lunch. She's just lunch. sitting and sure, missing out on the food. Sitting in a Rolls Royce, though. So he got up. They gave him an hourglass, which sucks as a gift. Imagine trying to bring that in carry on. Oh. It would... <laughs> Through the sands of time. No, what's the through the, <laughs> the, like, the like, sands through an hour. Hour. <laughs> Like sand stuck in my ass <laughs> on the beach. Goodness. <laughs> um, he got up and said a little hello, and then he got off stage and left. The whole thing. Left. He did his speech and he didn't stay for lunch. How long no. did he speak for? Um, they said he was there in total for ten minutes. Oh my god. Yeah. Why would you come? All the way to Australia. Like, that's a long way. A 10-minute lunch. He said his um, speech, they said his speech was about the fleeting passage of time. <laughs> <laughs> He's flat out. <laughs> is that a joke or no. is that absolutely? No. Anyway, no. Oh, Maybe it was his punchline. No, it was, I think it was because he was giving an hourglass. And so he went, oh, uh, uh, I'll weave I'll this in a bit of magic and then I'll bugger off out the back I door. I mean, they would be, <laughs> those ceremonies would get so boring True. after a while. But I just but don't know why. Imagine being, imagine It'd be like there, going but... to your wedding because it's for him. It's for you. Yes. Mm. You and your groom at your wedding. And then at 10 minutes in, you leave everybody to continue with your wedding, but you leave. Also, yeah. he's waited his whole life to be this I person. I know. And now he's like, it's actually a bit crap. It's yeah. quite boring, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I've left Cammy and I want to go get a long lunch. <laughs> yeah, Cammy. <laughs> Cammy and I. 13, 10, 60. How Do quickly. People have left their wedding. Sorry. Yeah. I was just thinking then well, about weddings. I once um, was working at a bar where there was a... Um, at twenty first, and there were twenty first speeches, and they were pretty heavy on the um, young man whose twenty first it was, and he left crying. Oh! And they saw it happen from stage and went, "Oh, that's a bit weird." Anyway, and then carried on and, <laughs> and kept delivering the twenty first speeches and finished to the not speeches. the man who was twenty one. He was out the front crying. Oh, that's so sad. Thirteen ten sixty. What did you leave, and how quickly? I'd love if you've left your own wedding. I'd love to hear from you. 131060. Gary and Tommy. Your Monday Arvo, it is Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. And on 131060, what did you leave early? Yep, the king's here. And um, he's had his lunch, his first official engagement yesterday, and uh, got up to say a speech at the start for all the guests there to have the lunch to honour the king. And he did a speech and was gone. After 10 minutes. Yep, Andre hadn't hit the deck. I'm just watching him on the news right now as we speak, and he's currently planting a tree. Perhaps we just need to find some more fun things to do with Charles. What do you reckon he does for fun? And then he'd stick around longer. Oh, I'd love with lads, 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 boys, boys, boys. Oh. I reckon he just does a red wine. Yeah, yes. He'd have the red wine lips. Absolutely. You know the the bit that goes in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) How fun. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, we're asking what you left earlier. I was saying I wonder if anyone's ever, like, Put left on a own. wedding and then yeah. left it. And everyone sat there and had the whole dinner without the bride and groom. Marley, talk to us. What have you left? <laughs> so I left a play once, um, got about halfway through, and mm-hmm. we just, it wasn't what we were expecting. So we just ducked out, snuck out. I'm pretty sure the guy on stage saw us leave, <laughs> but <laughs> how, I, I mean, felt bad, I can but... understand because some plays go on way too long, but also <laughs> imagine how deflating that would be. Like imagine your stand up show, you watch someone leave during it. Like you wouldn't be able to be funny for the rest of it, would you? <laughs> Well, have people. I have. Yeah. You don't have people to leave imagine. your show during it. I have had people leave before, yeah. Oh, why? Because sometimes people will um, heckle. and then, Camilla's waiting um, in the car. <laughs> and then I will um, retaliate and then they, they get like embarrassed that. and oh. they leave. They but leave. Sorry, it's not a common thing, but of course it's happened. Right. Yeah, or I've said a joke about something that someone doesn't like or... 
Yeah. Storm out. Storm out. I might but, do that. <clears throat> One of your shows next year. <laughs> Cause a ruckus. Storm out. Storm out. Well, last you time you were came, you were sitting second back row, so I don't reckon I'll notice. storm out. <laughs> <laughs> it's clomping down all the st- stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Michael, what did you leave early? I uh, left my own 18th. Did you? Oh. What, because yeah. of the speeches, Michael? No, no, no. I got uh, looked around the party and I seen a whole heap of my so-called mates at the time uh, t- starting to take the free uh, the alcohol I put on and put it in their bags for another oh. party they had to go to that night. Oh, oh. no. So, uh, yeah, oh. I, ended up, I ended up getting one of my mates and we just went down to the local instead. I left all my family all those so-called mates there, and who knows how much alcohol they took. It was uh, cleaned up the next morning. What about your poor family, though? They weren't taking the alcohol, were they? No, 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 no. They're just boring. Nah. Yeah. Michael, I, I I, thought we were going to have the same story. I thought yours was going to go a, a different way because I realised when I turned 19, I told um, all my mates to come to the, the pub, and um, by the time they got there... Mm. I was so drunk and had spewed <laughs> down my front that I've been kicked out by 7 p.m. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie and Tommy. Driving you home for your Monday afternoon. It's Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. And for a superior washable finish, choose Dulux Wash and Wear. Worth doing, worth Dulux. Well, this is interesting. Our next guest. Mm, How thanks. long since you last saw her? Oh, I see her quite often. She's the mother of your child, apparently. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that, Carrie. We're going to talk about it with her next. Carrie and Tommy. Carrie and Tommy. Around Australia for your drive home, the Savo. It's Carrie Bigmore and Tommy Little. She's one of the funniest in the country, Mel Butto. How are you, butts? I'm good, mate. I'm really good. I see you've got a couple of new tattoos. I don't think since I saw you last. Yeah. Oh, my leg. Your leg, mate. Yes. Your, they're robbing a bank or something. Yes, that is correct. They are animals something. robbing a bank. How, <laughs> how did that feel? To, for that description, they're robbing, a bank, robbing a bank or something. No, just all something. Or like something, no yeah. one cares. But I, but I don't think I, I, and I've said this often. I don't think I'm proud of one of my tattoos. But don't you get them deliberately? Aren't you trying to be? Um, I don't accidentally get them. No, I mean, don't you get them to deliberately then go? Oh, I hate this one because this one was my ex and I crossed out. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, sorry, but so I, I, I didn't want you to get. Is this on air? Somebody yeah. 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 Uh, hey, I I've been loving watching you on Taskmaster. Thank you, Tommy. Um, I have also filmed Taskmaster, mm. and I went a bit crazy staying in that house filming. Did you go crazy? A lot of trauma. Um, mm. it's not easy. No. But I thought it would be easy because you can't prepare. And I know that, Tommy, you mm. and I are very similar. We both hate prep. Right? Hate prep. Yes. Uh, but that just means you're going in there blind. Yeah. And you will just, you know, stuff up and there's there's no one to blame but yourself. But and you did didn't do... stuff up. You've been oh, yeah. amazing. Thank you, we were Carrie. just playing a little bit before that. I think we've got some here to play of you, of your impromptu rap. Oh. Like if someone made me do that, the immense fear that would come over me. And you just absolutely nailed it. MC Malicious on the track. Here we go, I'm about to drop it. I'm a rapper, I'm an actor, I'm a rhyme character. I'll snap these down rhymes and I'll chuck them back at you because I'm rhyme supreme. Yes, I'm a rhyme machine. Let me take you through this rhyme routine. Ever said a boy see this, they want to hit this. Hieroglyphics, your friends are misfits. What every morning? I so much made up. Welcome 80% of boys don't want to hit this? Yes. Yeah, I'd, I'd say a higher like, number these days. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was flattering myself with that 80%, wasn't I? <laughs> Does that stress you out or do you love doing like the impromptu stuff? Um, I don't mind doing it, but then when you hear it played back to you like that, it's quite, and you remember that you're a white lady in her 40s. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Was MC Malicious? MC Malicious. Was that your, was that your name in high school? Yep. That yeah. was my rap name. I made it for myself in year nine. Who, who, was, who, was in, who else was in your posse? Um, in my posse, I think we had Squiggly J and Calicious <laughs> Kel. Yeah. So that's, that's Jane and Kelly, if you can read between the lines there. Yeah, did we you, were bad. Did we're you bad dabble girls. in breakdancing as well? Um, I, look, I don't want to start a feud between Australia's current greatest breakdancer and myself, <laughs> but I, if pushed, would be almost... Up at that level. Can we talk about Lynn for one sec? I'd love I, to. I'm obsessed with Lynn. Um, and I've always wondered, because I was late to get on Lynn, is Lynn based on like your mum or something mm. or is Lynn a universal this person? This is your character. Oh, sorry, your character on Instagram that yes. is absolutely brilliant. Um, It is my mum, but it's also my aunties. It's every yes. medical okay. receptionist I've ever met. 
who says, stand black, please, and are you paying with cash or card? I'm like, whoa, okay, attitude. It's it's just a, it's just every woman, and you'll yeah. turn into her, Carrie. It's coming. Yeah, I, I do yeah. see a lot of myself in her when yeah. I watch them, yeah. Um, when do you, do you, like, record them in blocks, or do you just have a thought and then you just go and do it? Like, what, how do you do what it? What do you reckon? <laughs> I, just, I reckon you just have a random thought I and have go a do thought, it. Yeah. and I think, what have I got on today? Oh, absolutely nothing. Why don't we smash out a one-minute Lynn video? And then <laughs> so we we'll go back to watching, <laughs> watching Dr. <what>? Phil. <laughs> <laughs> but are you worried? You said Carrie will turn into Lynn. Are you worried that the longer you do the character, the less differential there is between yourself and Lynn? Correct. I used to think, oh, my God, it's so funny. That woman I do on Instagram, she's so silly. What a weirdo. And now... I hear her in my head going, well, with the weather changes, put a jumper in the car. I'm like, oh, <laughs> do you have a cardigan? <laughs> oh, no. It's me. Can we um, talk about your new bub? Well, not bub so yeah. much anymore. Yes. How old now? One, two. two. He's two. two. Yeah. Big second um, birthday. Because you know um, that your dear friend across from you here, like, uses your child, yeah? <laughs> Uncle Tommy? I, oh, I thought we were told it was Daddy Tommy. Um. I have called Tommy Daddy in the past, but that, <laughs> that was many years ago. Ca- Carrie doesn't respect my, our family's privacy, and um, she keeps trying to talk about it on radio. And I said, No, he well, says, he tells the audience that mm. he has a child, but then mm. says, please don't. I don't want to talk about it. I'm and I, very and I don't. And I think, Mel, you would agree that our business is not to be it shared is, publicly. It's not for on air. That's an off-air oh. discussion, Carrie. Well, he yeah. did put your child on his Instagram and call was, him his child. Did he? Yeah, he did. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what your rules are around that. I'm not that, sure. That that was um, – I don't know if we can – legally can we speak about this, Tommy? No, I, I just don't I, – I think we share so much of ourselves publicly yep. that I think we are entitled <laughs> yes. to have some things just for us. Some and things I, are sacred. And yep. I think you would agree with me. I think we would both prefer to keep some parts of our so life just special and sacred. just to be clear because you called him Uncle Tommy, yep. um, is, is it Uncle Tommy or you Daddy don't have Tommy? To I do not have a firm – Policy on what your son on calls what I'm his Taskmaster seven thirty <laughs> tomorrow night on ten and ten play Mel Buttle. You're one of the best. Thanks, Butts. Thanks, mate. Carrie and Tommy driving you home from three till six. It's Carrie Bigmore and Tommy Little. Carrie and Tommy. Carrie and Tommy are sending you to Bluey's World Brisbane. Book tickets to Bluey's World Brisbane at Bluey'sWorld.com. Well, this is exciting because Safira, how much do you want to go to Bluey's World? So much. So much. Who would you be going with? My family. Yep. And who's in your family? You've got your mum, Shannon, yeah? My dad. Yeah. And my two little sisters. <gasps> How old are they, Safira? Ele- no, sorry. Um, five. Wait, no, six and <laughs> nine. Six and nine. Oh, I love you're the, it. You're the oldest, Safira. Yes. Do you get to boss them around? Mm, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have Maximo. G'day, Maximo. Hi. How old are you? Ten. Oh, do you want to go to Bluey's World? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Who would you go with? My two little brothers, my dad and my mum. Oh, my gosh. You're You're the oldest as well? Yep. Cool. Well, who's your favourite character, Maximo? Uh, Bandit. Bandit, yeah, Yeah. Bandit's the best. All right, well, the way this works is we're going to ask you guys one quiz question about the show Bluey. When you think you know the answer, you've got to buzz in, but the way you buzz in is you say your name. So when you think you know the answer, you've either got to go Maximo or Safira so that we know who's going to have a guess and then we'll go to you and you can give us the answer, okay? All right. All right, let's have a practice. What is the radio show you're currently on called? Safira. Maximo. There we go. Right. Okay, okay. You so it, you're both Sephira. ready to go for the real thing now? Yeah. All right. Carry. Here's the question. Remember, buzzing in with your name. What names do Bluey and Bingo call themselves when they dress up as grannies? Safira. Maximo. Yes, Safira. Janet and Rita. Yay! Well done. Bluey's world, Safira. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, Maximo. Have the best time. We've still got a Bluey's pack for you, Maximo, so you don't go away empty-handed. You've still won something. <laughs> <laughs> Not as fun as going to the on the actual no, trip, no, Tommy. No, I get it. <laughs> if I you would it. like to book your own tickets to Bluey's World, you can book them at blueysworld.com. Carrie and Tommy. If you're looking for a great show to go to in this beautiful country of ours at the moment, Amy Shark is touring, and I took my daughter on Friday night. Uh, it was 
torrential rain. Like we were undercover and the rain was coming in sideways. It was that wet. It Fun. was the most rain they'd had in the city for like, I don't know, months and months and months. It was so much. But it was so fun. Yeah. The show was electric. And I think the fact that everyone was there in ponchos drowning added a bit a, of something, a something. The concert in the rain's magical. It was great. It? But I thought the crowd shocked me. I had behind me uh, fellow five to 10 year olds, obviously not fellow to fellow me, but fellow to my to daughter. <laughs> and then in front of me, I had fellow 75 year olds. Um, I had, there was all these older ladies in the, in the seat yeah. in front. They knew every lyric to every yeah. song. I was like, what a strange collection of people. But oh, great. anyway, I loved it. And I loved this song from Amy Shark. Too. Carrie and Tommy. Driving you home from three till six. It's Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. Oh, Bickers. I'm assuming you went to the cat show. Oh, I didn't know there was a cat show. The Is that C- like the dog show? No, there's far less dogs. <laughs> no, I mean, like, do they do tricks and walk around and well, get around the best hmm. cat? I'm glad you asked. It was, of course, the CFA International Cat Show and Expo in Iowa. Oh. Which is really hard to say when you read it. Iowa. Mm. Yeah. Because it looks like, no. Looks like I-O-W-A. Which no, is... it's not in Iowa. And this is why I found it hard to read. It's in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Which I call Ohio all the time. Ohio. Well, it's no not in that's... Iowa. It's in Ohio. <laughs> oh, he's like, God, that's not. That's hard to say, isn't it? When you read it. What's the other one that's hard to say? That... Arkansas. Massachusetts. Arkansas. Oh yeah, yeah. Massachusetts. Kansas. Massachusetts is Connecticut hard to say as well. Yeah. Um, so everybody was out to uh, to celebrate all things cat feline. Yes, there was um um. <laughs> Come celebrate, this is the ad for it, come celebrate over a thousand famous cats, fancy cats, adoptable cats, athletic cats, and influencer cats. 15 to 20,000 feline enthusiasts. They should have had the tagline, come celebrate the pussy. Carrie, I expected more of you. (laughs) Good though. (laughs) Is it good? Is it good? (laughs) <laughs> um, they'll celebrate two days. It was two days of cat competitions, performances, adoptions. You can adopt a pussy, Carrie. Oh, there you go. Is it a rescue pussy or a bought? Do you I, want I a rescue that... pussy? <laughs> I like them all, Carrie. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Also, if you can <laughs> rescue one, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be designer pussy, <laughs> Carrie. Yeah. So anyway, there was, of course, one of the biggest events of the two days. You know what it is. Mm, Karaoke. Uh, oh, my God, that's fun. Do what they you, sing? What do you think it is? Cats pretending to sing. Carrie, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> it's humans singing but replacing the lyrics with meows. Would you like an example? Oh, so the cats aren't the ones doing the noise. Cats can't human. sing, Carrie. Is it the do they have to own a cat to be at this cat comp? No, you've just got to be enthusiastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Would you like to hear one and guess the song? Yes. Oh, the National Anthem. Yes. They all did that to kick kick off karaoke. (laughs) (laughs) In Ohio. (laughs) Next one. Oh, a bit of Madonna. It is a bit of Madonna. Madonna. Yes. Uh, Next. (laughs) MC Hammer. I can't touch this. <laughs> yeah. For a clean sweep. I should go. I'm going to have a crack in a minute. Yep. For a clean sweep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is Beyonce. Oh. Single ladies. Oh. No. Oh, no. Carrie, you Crazy yes. love. Oh, that is correct. Well done. What about they should have done meow, 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 meow. What's what is it? That again? What um, is it? Da, 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 da. Don't worry. <laughs> don't panic. What is it? That song? I don't know. What is it? No. Basement, Basement Jack. Jack. It starts. It sounds like it. <laughs> oh, it's the beginning. Not bad. It wasn't bad. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Follow Carrie Bitmore and Tommy Little on socials at Carrie Tommy Show. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Carrie and Tommy podcast. Next time you're winding down with a movie night, don't forget your new favourite frozen treat, Cadbury Chop Tops. So good, they're guaranteed not to last. Find them in the supermarket ice cream freezer.